Hi, this is Jeremy at 1LD, and this is a tutorial for Parallax Stacks version 1.0.0. Parallax Stacks, uh, just a quick description, is a stack that overrides the theme's default and creates a single page layout that has very nice navigation and also uh, parallax effects. So you can scroll down and there's the familiar parallax effect and you can also notice up here the menus are adjusting as I go further down the page. Alternatively I can select these and they'll navigate to the part of my page. So if you've purchased it or are thinking of purchasing it you may go can I actually make something that looks um, as impressive as that. Uh, we do supply the project file so you get all these images and everything to duplicate um, to duplicate the site, though you'll probably want to change things for your own. Uh, regardless, if you get your own images, uh, you can create different parallaxing effects, and it's fairly simple and straightforward. I'm not going to get into all the um, the, to the customization options, but rather those that are not quite as intuitive. Um, first, so it looks pretty in the back end you want to go if you want that white background in the areas that um, don't have the parallaxing color by default background will be set to none inside of stacks so you can select solid color and I, I by default it'll be black but I set mine to white um, you can drag and drop um, and oops that's the wrong ones you can br drag and drop any file into the logo area which is right here I've already done it um, and set it to whatever the width and height is for this one it's 280 um, by 70 Oops. and you can control the amount of menu items um, I can reduce it to four or however many you want I've set mine to six uh, because there are six uh, sections. To create a page like this, first we'll, we'll do some customization in a second. All you would do is you'd create a stack page. You would select the parallax containing wrap and then you would drag and drop the parallax sections into the page uh, in, success, in succession to each other. So in right below, so this would be the first section this would be this would be the first, this would be the second, and this would be the third. And parallax stacks will remember as you scroll down, these will link to the appropriate sections, and you can easily edit their titles. Um, however, because there would be a lot of content to create, I've already gone ahead and created a section that um, that duplicates what you saw on the site. Um, though let's eliminate some of these so that we have to re-add them so you can see um, how simple it really is. Um, I'm going to go to the top one. This one is a blank one as you remember from the demo though we've added uh, by default Y padding will always be zero but I've increased it up to 200. When you're making a parallax uh, website generally you want space between the sections or else it doesn't have that um, real noticeable gliding effect. In this one, well, it, let's clear those and I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to re-add them. Um, I'm going to add my background image first and then my foreground image. Um, by default, speed will actually be set to 130. Though I'm going to for the foreground, but I'm going to slow this one down so the sky and the grass uh, don't move away from each other quite as quickly as when I go down. If you want it to be a, re a repeating pattern, you can select the pattern button, or else it'll be a single image. I'm going to scroll down to the next section, and as you can see, I've already placed some content in here. And this is a blank section again, though I've added the Y padding of 200, or close to 200. The next section will have, um, we'll eliminate those. It didn't look like there was an image in there, but that's just because we couldn't see it very well. And I'm going to add the city in the background, and I'm going to add the um, 
birds in the foreground. And like I said, this would actually be set to 130 by default, but we're going to speed things up uh, to about 250, 250% or so, so the birds should fly by really fast. Um, next section, and again, I'm still adding a lot of Y padding. And this looks kind of long here, but that's just because my screen is smooshed a little. And then finally, this last this last section, I'm going to add um, the birds, but I'm going to make it a pattern because I want it to repeat. And now you can see the birds just barely. And I've added just a little bit of white padding. So let's go to the preview. So the first thing you'll notice is these, this section isn't white right here. It's, it's actually that texture is the default um, look when there's no set background. So let's go fix that first. Um, that, I must not have set that for... I'm going to click that. There we go. Solid color. We're going to make it... Let me bring that in. We're going to make it white. And let's go in for each of those other sections and make each one of them a solid color of white. Oops. And now we have this uh, much nicer to look at uh, screen. So you can see the first section, the background is the sky, the foreground is the grass, and it's scrolling very slightly as we, as we pass by. The second section, the birds are flying by much faster through, over the city, and you don't see much of the city, but if I added some more padding down there, we could, we could see more of the city. And then finally we have the pattern down here, which is going by. You can see a slight parallax effect. And of course, I can click on the buttons. However, if you remember from this one, we had, let's go to that one real quick. Oh no, that must have just been on the preview, on the live version. So let me go and show you another cool effect is with the, um, the menu. We can turn transparency on. Since I have a white background, I'm going to make it white. If you had a darker background, you'd want to select that. And we can change the opacity. Three is a good opacity for what I'm trying to do. And now, as we scroll down, you can see the menu um, stays over everything, but with a transparency to it, which is a real nice effect. Though, it doesn't work with this too well, especially when I get in the footer. So according to your site, you may or may not want to take advantage of that. And this concludes just a very brief tutorial on how to use parallax stacks.